Simon Says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to insert an image in Excel. In some cases, the numerical or text data in cells might not be enough to understand the data completely. In such cases, adding images and charts help provide visual cues to the reader to understand and ascertain the data easily. In this video, I will show you how to insert images in Excel. You'll also learn how to insert an image into Excel and lock them to the corresponding cell. When you want to insert an image in Excel, you cannot copy and paste it into the Excel sheet or cell as we do in Microsoft Word. However, you can insert an image in Excel in three simple ways. Using this option, you can insert images that are stored on your local drive from the stock image repository, in the cloud, or even from the internet. To insert an image, first, select any cell. Navigate to Insert. Click on the drop-down from Illustrations. Again, click on the drop-down from Pictures. Clicking on the Picture drop-down shows you three ways you can insert an image in Excel. If you want to insert an image into your Excel sheet from your computer or other computers you are connected to, click on this device. Another way to insert images in Excel is from Stock Images. Stock Images in Excel is an image repository that contains images that are copyrighted by Microsoft and available for personal and professional use. Using the Online Pictures option, you can add images from the internet powered by the Bing search engine. Once you have added the image to the chart, you can move and resize the chart using the anchor points. If you want to make additional customizations to the image, you can use the picture format ribbon to adjust the color grading, change the image style and size, and align the image depending on your preference. You can also insert an image into a cell, snap it to its borders, and make the image a part of the cells like a text. This is a prerequisite step before you insert the image into the cell. First, make space for the images by extending the cells, rows, and columns based on the size of the image you want to showcase. Then insert the image or images using the above mentioned method. Once the images are inserted, you can resize each image using the anchor points and move them to their respective cells. The inserted images are not linked to the cell. As a result, any operation you perform on the cells such as selecting, filtering, and hiding will not apply to the images. To lock the image to the cell, first right click on the image and click on Format Picture. This opens up the Format Picture pane on the right side of the worksheet. Click on the Size and Properties button. Under the Properties dropdown, click on Move and Size with Cells. This locks the image to the cell. Now, when you copy, move, filter, or hide the cells, the corresponding image also gets copied, moved, filtered, or hidden, and hidden along with the cell. That is all, everyone. Inserting images into an Excel worksheet is an integral feature that is widely used and will help the user understand the data easily and effectively. In this video, we saw how to insert images in Excel in three easy ways. We also saw how to insert images into an Excel cell and lock them with the cell. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full blog article that this video came from, please click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.